this is a quick overview of PMT, IPMT, and PPMT. And probably you already know PMT function, so we'll, I'm not going to go in detail, but I'm going to just show you how to work with it. So let's say you have a loan uh, for $100,000, and the loan period is, let's say, 10 years. So that's loan period is 10 years and the annual interest rate is 5%. So we'll, you'll borrow $100,000 for 10 years at the rate of 5%. And so let's calculate the PMT. That's the monthly pay, uh, well, let's, let's calculate the monthly payment. So PMT does not have to be monthly. It could be annual, it could be any way you, uh, the term you want to set. But most commonly we use it for calculating the monthly um, mortgage payment. So let me just quickly uh, do this. Uh, one easy way to do it is you can go to formula and then I think you can find it in the financial and then look through PMT. There it is, PMT. And then you have a PMT dialog box here and you just plug it in. The rate is, so click on the box for the rate and then I click uh, the cell in this case D7 so it gets automatically typed in or you can just type type in um, in this box directly as well but I I prefer clicking so then number uh, I'm sorry let me go back here the rate is uh, D7 that's currently is 5% however since we are calculating the monthly payment we need to divide this annual rate which is uh, five percent and that's in d cell and i'm sorry d7 we need to divide it by that by 12. so d7 represents the annual uh, interest rate since we are calculating monthly payments so we need to divide it that by 12 which means 12 months and the number of payments it's kind of reverse way um, so go ahead and click on so D6, I guess, and that's uh, the 10. That's 10 years, but again, we are calculating the monthly payment. So we have to multiply by that by 12. So we make a 12 payments for 10 years. So that's uh, 120 payments. And this interest rate is uh, not 5%, which is 0, 0, 0.005 not that but we divide that by 12 so that's why this number is so little all right the P pv that's the easy one that's present value also that's a loan amount so hundred thousand dollars and then go ahead and click on okay and so monthly payment will be one thousand sixty dollars and sixty six cents you may wonder why this is in uh, red and and the uh, um, in parentheses as well so that's basically for accounting so the this is the amount that will come out of your pocket so is a is a deduction so it's is a negative value out of it goes out of your pocket and let's talk about IPMT that returns the interest amount so with this monthly payment you may want to find out how much interest am i paying out of this monthly payment well that's for that's for ip mt is for so you can just click on it so instead you can you can go to uh financial and then find ip ip mt but also you can just type it in here in this formula bar equal sign ip mt open parenthesis so that's what you need to do equal sign IPMT open parenthesis and you can just keep typing this um, uh, the input attributes but you can also click on this FX that's insert function click on it and then you'll get this uh, dialog box which is a lot easier to work with until you become very familiar with this okay so rate what is the rate well it's five percent again I'm going to that, divide that by 12 because I am interested in how much interest amount I am paying 
out of this monthly payment here. So number of payment, uh, at the period, this is a kind of a, uh, something different from uh, PMT function. This PER attribute, it's kind of tricky one. So this is telling, you want to tell how, what will be the period that you want to find out um, the interest rate, interest amount. So in this case, I want to find out um, in one period. So each month you pay this amount, $1,060.66, and you want to find out in that month, one month. Um, and then number of payments for the whole entire loan. So that'll be 10 years multiplied by 12. And then present value is $100,000. And go ahead and click on OK. And now you know out of $1,060.66, the amount for the interest is a little bit over $400. And then PPMT, it returns the principal amount. So um, out of this monthly mortgage payment, how much you are paying back from the principal. So let's go ahead and start. Equal sign, PPMT, open parentheses, and then click on FX here. You get this dialog box. The rate, again, is the same, 5% divided by 12. That's monthly interest rate. Number of periods that you want to find out is just one time, one month. And then number of payments for the entire loan is 10 years multiplied by 12 months. And then present value, again, $100,000. And you click on OK. And then it's $643.99. So that's the, um, the amount that you are paying back to reduce the principal out of $100,000. So each month you're paying, you're reducing this principal amount by $643.99. So you can kind of uh, verify this. Let me just go ahead and if you add, let's say the interest I PMT plus PPMT. So if you add the interest amount you pay and then principal amount you pay, so that will be equal sign the interest amount plus the principal amount plus the enter key. That's one thousand sixty dollars and sixty six cents, which is the same as PMT. All right, so that's the relationship between relationships between PMT, IPMT, PPMT.